There's a scene in the film, which is, that's very us, where, and I think bonded us. We really connected. We, There's something about this film that creates. It built a lot of friendships. Yeah. It built a lot of real special. relationships. Yep, a lot of eternal bonds were made while shooting this superhero adventure. They even have staring contests. I've got this. But the relationship that's got everyone's attention? The love triangle between Jimmy Chan and Game of Thrones Stark brothers, Kit Harington and Richard Madden. How long were you together? 5,000 years. Well, I guess you can call that long term. I am a Game of Thrones fan, and I also knew Kit and Richard. I've known them for years. We tried to kind of, you know, this is a this is a whole other story. We try not to be burdened by, you know, the references. Yeah, I think that's what Marvel are really good at at times, is a little wink and a nod to camera. You know, like, it'd be silly not to. The Eternals' diverse cast includes Marvel's first-ever deaf superhero, played by Lauren Ridloff, and Kumail Nanjiani, who worked out five days a week to get in fighting form. Can we talk about Kumail, the sex symbol? We saw the physical transformation, and it was fabulous. It helps me mentally, you know, that's the goal now. I find that uh, doing some of that stuff makes me less anxious. The cast told us they're up for doing a sequel, but before that, Salma starring in House of Gucci as Lady Gaga's partner in crime. Bravo. What are you looking forward to most about having when everyone see you in this space, in this role? Well, first of all, I hope they don't recognize me because okay. it's not my most glamorous uh, look ever. It's a small role. Mm -hmm. It was a fun role. And uh, we had a lot of fun together.